Now we continue to the technical analysis of the part two. First, we will talk about MSCD. MSCD in forest trading is a popular technical analysis indicator used by forest traders to identify trends, momentum, and potential buy or sell signals in the currency pair. It is composed of two moving averages and a histogram provided traders with valuable insights into market dynamics. The component of MSCD First is the MSCD line or face line. This is the difference between the 26 period exponential moving average or EMA and the 12 period EMA. It represents the short term momentum of the currency pair. 2. Signal line or slow line, also known as the 9 period EMA of the MACD line. It acts as a smooth rate indicator helping to confirm potential trends changes. The histogram. This is the vertical bus created by the difference between the MSCT line and the signal line. The histogram provides a visual representation of the difference between the two lines and indicates the strength of the momentum. Let's take some practice. Trend identification. Cross offers. When the MCT line crosses above the signal line, it is considered a bullish signal, indicating a potential upward trend. Conversely, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it is very signal, suggesting a possible downward trend. Momentum and divergence. Divergence. If the price of a currency pair is making higher highs, but the MACD is making lower highs, it indicates a potential reverse from an uptrend to a downturn and vice versa. Buy and sell signals. Crossover strategy. Traders often use the MACD line crossing above the signal line as a buy signal and the MACD line crossing below the signal line as a sell signals. Now, you already know how to use the MACD. Let's talk about the RSI. The Relative Strength Index or RSI is a popular technical indicator used in forest trading to identify overbought and oversold condition in the market. Developed by G. Wallace Wilder, the RSI is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and chance of price movements. It oscillates between 0 and 100, providing traders with insights into potential price reversal and trends strengths. How it works? RSI calculates the ratio of average gains to average losses over a specified period, usually 14 periods. The formula involves several steps. First, calculate the average gain and average loss over the selected period. Two, calculate the relative strengths by defining the average gain by the average losses. Calculate the RSI by using the formula. RSI is 100 minus 100 per 1 plus RS. The RSI is plotted as a line on a spread scale below the price chart, typically ranging from 0 to 100. Now, prepare your nerve and your brain. RSI is primarily used to identify potential trend reversal and overbought or oversold conditions. Here is how traders can utilize RSI in the four track trading strategies. Overbought and oversold conditions. RSI value above 70 are considered overbought, indicating that the market might be due for the downward correction of reversal. Conversely, RSI values below 30 are considered oversold suggesting a potential upward correction or reversal. Divergence RSI divergence occur when the RSI movement differs from the price movement. Bullish divergence happens when the price makes lower and lower while the RSI makes higher and low, suggesting a potential bullish reversal. Bullish divergence occur when the price makes a higher high while the RSI makes a lower high, indicating a potential bearish reversal. Trend strength. RSI levels can indicate the strength of a non-going trend, 
rising RSI and an uptrend significant strong buying momentum while a falling RSI in the downtrend indicates strong selling momentum. Alright, now you know how to use the RSI. Now we talk about the stochastic oscillator. The stochastic oscillator compares a security's closing price to its price range over a specific period of time. It consists of two lines, percent K or fast line and a percent D or slow line. The percent K line reflects the current price position relative to the recent price range, while the percent D line is a moving average of the percent K line. The stochastic oscillator formula involves three main components. First, see the current closing price. 2. L, the lowest price over a certain period, and 3. H, the highest price over the same period. The formula for the percent K and percent D lines are as follows like this. The typical time period used for calculation is 14 periods, but traders can adjust this according to their trading strategy and time frame. Okay. Let's get practice. Interpreting stochastic oscillator readings. The indicator value range from 0 to 100. It is divided into three main zones. Upper zone uh, above 80. When the percent K or percent D line enters this zone and suggests the price may be overextended and the potential reversal or correction could occur. This could be an indication to sell or consider taking profits. Neutral zone between 20 and 80. Readings in the distance such as a balanced market where no extreme correction are present. Traders might focus on other indicators of pattern for trading decisions. Over zone, below 20. When the person K or person D line falls into the soup, it indicates potential of a certain condition, implying a potential price reversal to the upside. This could be an opportunity to buy or consider entry points. Traders can use stock as speculator in various ways. Cross offers. Best signal are generally seen when the person K line cross above the person D line in the official zone, and sell signals occur when the person K crosses below and the person D line in the offer bar zones. Divergence. Divergence occur when the price is moving in the opposite direction under the stochastic oscillator. Bullish divergence, such as a potential upward reversal, while bearish divergence is a potential down reversal. Okay, next time is the final topic of technical analysis, is the Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands are a popular technical analysis tool used in forex trading to ask price volatility and potential price reversal. They were developed by John Bollinger in the 1980s and consists of three layers of the inside of the price charts. Bollinger Bands are primarily used to identify for profit and offer sold condition as well as cost potential trend change. Components of Bollinger Bands First is Middle Band or SMA The middle line is a simple moving average SMA or the price of a specific period after 20 periods. It acts as a baseline around which the upper and lower bands oscillate. Upper Band or SMA plus 2 Standard Deviation The upper band is calculated by adding two times the standard deviation of the price to the middle band. It represents a measure of volatility and tends to expand during periods of increased price movements. Turn lower band or SMA minus 2 and standard deviation. The lower band is calculated by subtracting two times the standard deviation of the price from the middle band. It also provides information about price volatility and potential support levels. Now, take some training. Using Bollinger Bands Bollinger Bands, as we know, offer valuable insight into potential price movements. Traders often use them in the following ways. First, volatility assessment. When the bands are wide, it suggests high volatility and when they are narrow, it indicates low volatility. Volatility can guide traders in determining the appropriateness of their trading strategies. Overbought and oversold condition. When the price approaches or crosses the upper band, it may signal overbought condition, suggesting a potential price reversal or pullback. 
Obviously, when the press nears or crosses the lower band, it might indicate of a short condition and a possible bounce back. Trend indication Trends can help identify the beginning or end of the trend. A press consistently riding the upper band might suggest an uptrend, while a press consistently is hugging the lower band could be implied downtrend. The pros of technical analysis. First, objective approach. Technical analysis provides a structure and objective way to analyze market using historical data. Reducing the influence of emotions on trading decisions. Two, widespread usage. Many traders use technical analyzing, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy as market participants react to the same signals, potentially leading to price movements as predicted by the analysis. Short-term trading. Technical analysis is well suited for short-term traders such as day traders or swing traders who seek to capitalize on short-lived price movements. Visual representation Charts and patterns offer a visual representation of price action, making it easier for traders to spot trends, reversals, and patterns. And the last is risk management. Technical analysis tools help traders set stop loss and check profit levels enhancing risk management strategies. Now, the cause of technical analysis. First is market noise. In volatile markets, technical analysis can be less effective due to increased market noise that distorts patterns and indicators. Subjectivity. Different analysis may interpret the same chart differently leading to subjectivity in training decisions. False signal. No dull signatures generated by technical analysis lead to profitable trades. Traders can fall victim to false fitness, leading to losses. Limited fundamental analysis. Technical analysis focuses solely on price data and may overlook broader fundamental factors that can impact currency movements, such as economic indicators, geopolitical events, and monetary policies. The last, overfit. Overfitting occurs when traders tailor their analysis to historical data so closely that it fails to predict future price movements accurately. That's for today of this video. Well, it's a long journey to learn, yeah? That wraps our discussion about technical analysis. Hopefully, you can more understand and not to be straight person in forest trading. I'll see you in the next class. Bye bye.